as Vienna rolls are a traditional bread roll that dates back to the 18th century. Originally from Austria, these rolls are also common in Germany and make excellent sandwich vessels. I am quite fond of them for burgers, and their taste is superior to anything made commercially. They are also quite easy to make. We begin by proofing the active dry yeast in a stand mixer bowl. Of course, you may need this dough by hand, but it is quite sticky, so if you have a stand mixer, I advise putting it to use. After about 5 minutes or so, stir the yeast to dissolve it and add the flour, sugar, salt, and olive oil to the mixing bowl. At this point, attach the dough hook and begin mixing on the lowest speed until the flour is mixed, at which point increase the mixer to medium speed. If you're using a KitchenAid stand mixer, the second speed is the most suitable. Knead the dough for 8 minutes or until the dough is well developed and turn out the dough on a flour dusted counter. Dust the dough with a bit of flour and cover it to prevent any crusting while it ferments for the next 45 minutes. I like using a damp tea towel, but plastic wrap will work just as well. After 45 minutes have passed, lightly punch down the dough, then cover it back up and let it rest for another 15 minutes. Make sure to flour your hands before touching the dough. It's sticky. Now it's time to divide the dough into 12 units. To get uniform rolls, weigh the mass of dough, divide it by 12, and scale out the individual units of dough. This is why weighing out the ingredients is so important. It's more precise and should give you a total weight of around 850 grams, or 32 ounces, or 71 grams, or 2.6 ounces, a piece. If you're using a Kaiser Roll stamp, see the shopping list in the show notes, you will need to round the units before stamping them. I don't have a stamp, so I will be knotting my rolls which is why I'm rolling the units into 12 inch logs. If you're stamping your rolls, dusting the counter with rye flour will help preserve the design while it bakes. Also, it's important to place the pressed rolls upside down for the first proof before traying them. But since I'm knotting my rolls, I'll show you what that looks like. Let the rolls rise to a 60% proof on the counter, making sure to sprinkle them with flour before covering them. While the rolls are proofing, line two baking sheets with parchment paper and dust them with cornmeal. When the rolls are ready, brush them with an egg white wash, a touch of salt will smooth out the whites, and dip them in seeds. I'm using sesame seeds today, but other options include poppy seeds, sunflower, flax, pumpkin, or a mixture. This probably goes without saying, but if you stamp your Kaiser rolls, turn them right side up before finishing them. Allow the rolls to proof one last time to an 80% proof. While you wait, Preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius, then bake them for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden. 
While it does take a bit of practice to get the braiding technique down, it helps to practice on Play-Doh. Before long, folks will be asking where you got your buns from. You're welcome. Until next time. Oh, une voiture pour moi. Ah, oh, pardon. Oh, that's embarrassing.